Well, uh, we've done a bit of printing on the 3D resin printer we have, which is a Photon S. It's an absolutely corking printer. So we've done a Liberator kit. So basically we've done it in green resin for one reason. We had lots of it. Also because the, uh, the rear ball on the Liberator is green. And this kit allows you to put lights in, and this is actually uh, transparent, so it will light up. Um, so it comes in various parts. You've got the the rear engine part, and then the green stripey balls go on that, and then that goes through to the main body. So let's lay this out. So you've got the engine, the main body, and then you've got the secondary front part. A really nice fence this one does, so that goes there. And then you have the needle point goes up the front. And then it has the three uh, engine, uh, the three gun pods, and then you get struts each one comes in two parts so you stick them together that goes on there and then each engine you get that engine each gun pod you get the back the front and then you get absolutely lovely and it goes on like that and then you also get some tips there's two versions there's one where you can print the tip out a sort of a combined part like that and there's one that has lots of tiny little holes in here and you can put wire in so I thought I'd go with the the easier option um, and then three of those all the same so I think it's going to be a really nice kit it's going to, I mean it's not going to take a lot of uh, sanding because unlike a PLA printer the resin one it's all smooth anyway so it'll be a light sanding um, just to get the parts right there's also a stand that we need to print out um, but uh, yeah, so I'm going to do some sanding um, and probably undercoat it in white, leave the green parts green. And then as I said, you can light it, so at the back there, you can print it, and these are all hollow parts, so you print it with, it has holes for the wiring, goes through and then goes down to the stand. So I think it's going to be a nice fun kit to make. Um, so hopefully next time you see this, it should be sort of primed and slightly built up. Okay, so I've uh, glued the weapons pods together. Then a tiny little bit of filler in because the plastic's quite brittle on the edges. Um, it's looking good. So I'm going to undercoat them. And uh, it's coming along. Well, I've undercoated each part. And you can see it's pretty smooth. Doesn't really need any sanding. Um, so it's coming together nicely. So now I've got to work out how to do the, uh, the lighting and then uh, spray paint it white. Well, this was the Liberator I made. A while back out of my insulin pens etc so it's quite a nice little one and then the 3d resin printed one is now finished and there she is as you can see she's much bigger she's about the size of a comet kit that was out a while back you get a nice little stand uh, the only thing I might change is the prongs I might replace them with metal pins because as you can see some of them have got a bit warped in the, the painting process so all I've done is uh, undercoated in uh, plastic coat chalk white which is this stuff and this is the most matte finished white you can ever get uh, it's about seven quid a tin but it's really worthwhile if you want to get a, a nice surface to work on so and then uh, I've basically just picked out some panel lines, dirted her down, um, 
the striping on the engine is just uh, masking tape painted white, uh, a bit of gold spray on the whatever they're meant to be, solar panels, and then just dug out some uh, decals from my spares box, painted on some alien land uh, land language signage. Um, but then also what I decided to do was put a roll in the back end because it was green plastic, green transparent plastic. Uh, I thought it would be criminal not to light the engine up so it glows really nicely. So all I've done, Poundland LEDs and it's stuck in it. I can turn it off, you can flash it. So all in all, I think this was an amazing kit. Um, total print time was about 20, 25 hours. Um, but with the lovely photon, there's very little sanding to do. As you can see, there's hardly any banding. Um, just a pleasure to build. Uh, a friend of mine, Eric, of effectively speaking, built one recently that was a PLA print, 3D print, and said it was the worst kit he'd ever done. He'd never do another one. Um, I think if he had a resin one, he might think better of it. But yeah, so thanks for watching. If you want to see uh, more, please like and subscribe. Any comments down below. And just to give you an idea, this was half size. We printed it at half size. So, I mean, you can see, it's my hand. You can see how big it is. So it was meant to be twice that size. But lovely kit. Brilliant printer if you're ever thinking of one. Absolutely love it. Little big. Um, so thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe if you want to see more. And I'll see you again next time. Thanks then. Bye. That's a little uh, postscript so you might like to see. I got Travis Mark one, Stephen Grief, to sign my Federation Trooper rifle. So that now has pride of place on my Blake 7 shelf. Thanks then. Bye.